us uh, this morning with the very latest. Cameron. Well, Eamon, we all heard those, we all saw those incredible scenes yesterday of Her Majesty's coffin being taken from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall here. The crowds were silent, actually, as the procession uh, went by with that imperial state crown on top of Her Majesty's coffin, that symbol of the monarchy here. Uh, it was pulled by, well, the gun carriage was uh, of the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery, and it's being dubbed as a small and personal procession of Her Majesty's close family and also members of the royal household who had a close working relationship with the late sovereign. Uh, we saw the King and Her Majesty's other children march behind the coffin, as well as some of Her Majesty the Queen's grandchildren, including Prince William and Prince Harry and perhaps it was a show of unity they were walking side by side uh, as they had done on a couple of other occasions perhaps most notably when they were both children marching behind their other their mother's coffin Princess Diana in 1997 a show of unity perhaps putting past differences aside from over the last couple of years in their time of grief if you remember during Prince Philip's funeral in April 2021 the pair didn't the two brothers didn't walk side by side they had their cousin uh, uh, they had their cousin Peter Phillips in between them but that did not happen yesterday and actually Eamon and Isabel it's Prince Harry's birthday today he turns 38 years old we're not expecting him uh, to uh, appear in public today Yesterday, he, we, he, we could actually see him appear to wipe tears away from his eyes during that service, the very short service in Westminster Hall uh, behind me. He enjoyed a very close relationship, I think, with his grandmother. His grandmother actually decided to stay behind and tend to uh, him and his brother William uh, following the death of Princess Diana in Balmoral, despite perhaps the criticism that Her Majesty received. He wore a morning suit yesterday with his military medals. He served two tours of, Af of Afghanistan, Prince Harry did, uh, but he, he's not been permitted to wear military uniform at any of the ceremonial events happening over the next week or so. As for the Prince of Wales, he was wearing a uh, military uniform. He was wearing his RAF number one uniform yesterday. And the Princess of Wales, Catherine, uh, was wearing the diamonds and pearl leaf brooch, which did actually belong to the Queen. So perhaps a nod to Her Majesty the Queen there. They are expected to be up in Sandringham today, viewing floral tributes outside the Norwich Gate. Uh, and perhaps we might see them do a walking walkabout with uh, members of the public who have gathered there. The King himself is not going to be appearing in public today. He, as we understand it, is at Highgrove uh, dealing with state's business, looking at government papers uh, and perhaps having more phone calls with world leaders as we saw him do yesterday. He spoke to the President of the United States, Joe Biden. He also spoke to President Emmanuel Macron of France. It wouldn't surprise me if there's a few more phone calls announced today. And the Princess Royal, the Queen's daughter, and her husband, Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, who accompanied Her Majesty the Queen's coffin from Scotland down to London, are going to be back up in Scotland today in Glasgow, meeting a few representatives of charities who had Her Majesty the Queen as their patron.